So, um, before we start, I would just like to make it known that I really did try with my hair today, but it's just, it's not happening. I don't... <laughs> yes, I am back in my corner. Um, I have grown to like this little corner. It's not even really a corner. It's kind of like, like my room is designed so, like, the door has its own little section and it's kind of like a cube. It's hard to explain, but I like it. There are a couple of things I would like to talk about today, and those things are... I'm going to go into depth. Is that the right thing to say? I'm going to talk about my school, OSHA, and how it works, because I have a lot of my friends like asking me questions, and I figured i just talk about it in this video, because it would just be easier for me than to just type it out, because... I don't know. I'm gonna talk about registration, which I had yesterday, and it was really great, and I'm excited to talk about it. And then I'm going to talk about school starting and what I'm up to this weekend. And also, I'm not using my camera because my parents are using it because they're taking pictures of things for their website. They they like sell clothes kind of on eBay, and they have to take pictures of the clothes. So, they use that camera, and I don't want to, like, mess anything they're doing up, so I'm just going to use my computer for now. And I apologize for the lack of quality, but, you know, I'm making do with what I have. So, first off, I'm going to talk about my school. So, OSHA, Orange County School of the Arts, is an art school that has 12 conservatories, and they are... Classical and Contemporary Dance, Classical Voice, Commercial Dance, Creative Writing, Culinary Arts and Hospitality, which they just added this year, um, Film and Television, Instrumental, mu <laughs> Instrumental Music, Integrated Arts, that's what I'm in, and International Dance, Music and Theater, Production and Design, and Visual Arts. I'm sorry I can't really talk right now, I don't know what's wrong with me, I just need to like... So, along with these arts conservatories, there are also academic classes, like, it's not just, like, a full-on, like, arts, like, that's all you do. No, you still have to do math and, you know, science and things like that. And also, you do have to audition to get into the school. Um, and yeah, you have to do different things for each conservatory, like, for example, integrated arts, which is, like, all of the arts mixed together into one conservatory that I'm in. You have to bring in um, three of your talents and just pretty much show whoever's there what you can do. And yeah, that's what I have to do. For my audition, I sang. I showed them a video that I edited, a Disneyland video, and I showed them my photography and I played guitar. So those four things I did, and I got in. Yay! Yeah. I was really happy when I got in. And they basically take students from anywhere in Southern California. I live about 20 minutes away from the school, which is not too bad, honestly. But yeah. I'm really super excited about going. Um, I don't know anyone there who goes there. I know my friend Jill. She went to my elementary and middle school and we auditioned this year and she got into which is exciting and she's in my conservatory so that's great so I'll have one friend when I go in but other than that I don't know really anyone which kind of sucks but I'll make friends hopefully so next up is registration Woohoo! Registration. Okay, so at registration, I got my books, schedule, ID, locker, and a planner. So I will show you all of that in this super heavy backpack. This is my school backpack. It's new. Um, it's pretty like plain and normal, besides the fact that it's blue. But the last two years, I've been carrying this tote type deal. It's like a Hello Kitty tote, and I just I can't do it anymore. I need a normal backpack because I didn't like having just a tote that was like, hey, I don't, I don't know. It was just weird to me and I didn't like it. So I got a normal backpack 
And I just got a Jansport backpack because I don't know why. But first, I will show you my planner. It's really pretty. This is it. Isn't it nice? I think it's really cool. There's a tiger and a porcupine, I think, and then birds and then more birds. I think it's cool. There's also a frog on the back and it shows the bell schedule for my school, which is really cool. And then, you know, ruler, Orange County School of the Arts. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I had a planner in my middle school, but it was huge and I don't know. I like this small one because I feel like it's just, I don't know, it gives me more room in my backpack for my stuff. I don't know, it just feels easier to me, so. Next, I got my books, and yes, they're in here. That's why this thing is so heavy. So I will show you my books. This year, I only need three books, which is great, because last year, I had a lot of books. <laughs> but yeah. Health. Fantastic. Pretty great, you know, health. Has a nice faucet, and then some friends, and, um. Um, I don't know, girl eating an apple? Elf, what can I say? Should be fun. And then biology, which I'm really excited about because I really love animals and just everything, like plants and, I don't know, I'm really nature, naturific. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So I'm excited about this. And we don't learn about animals or plants until unit 7 and 8, so that kind of sucks, but whatever. It gives me something to look forward to. So yay! It has a nice little crocodile slash alligator on the front, and it's just, I'm really excited for this class, okay? So that's that, and then next up is geometry. Yay. <laughs> I'm really bad at math, so I, I don't know how to feel, but I'm really really gonna try this year and I'm being totally serious I'm gonna try to get a really good grade in math because last year it was not that great and then I got this student parent handbook which I have to get signed and turned in to my lit and comp teacher by a date September 7th yep and then last but definitely not least is my schedule which is the part I was most excited about going to registration for, and I'm just, wow. Here it is. I'm going to read it first, and then I will show you. Okay, so for Integrated Arts, I got the classes I will be taking this semester, and because there are so many classes you take in Integrated Arts, because it's like everything mixed together, I take these classes, these set of classes, this semester, and then next semester I will switch to more classes, different classes, which is great and fun. So yeah, I will read it. And for my conservatory schedule, they only gave me the classes I will be taking. They did not tell me like what days I'll be taking these classes because from my understanding, you have different conservatory classes on different days. So I don't know which days I'll have these classes on yet, but I'll let you know in the near future. So. I'm taking production and design overview, which is like, you know, sets and lighting and fun stuff like that. And then I'll be taking musical theater, and then improv, like acting improv, which is exciting. And then I'll be taking dance and creative writing long forms. Now, I have no idea what creative writing long forms are, but I am excited to find out. Yep. And then for my academic classes, I'm taking... Block 1 is Geometry, and then Block 2 is Lit and Comp Honors, yay, and then Block 3 is Yoga, which I'm really excited about because that was my first choice for PE, and I've never done yoga before, but I like doing new things, so I'm really excited. And then Block 4, I have Spanish 2, and then Block 5, I have Health, and then Block 6, I have Biology Honors. So yeah, I'm really excited, and here it is. Can you see it? Actually, you can't because it's flipped. 
Well, that's great. Oh, um, also, I just wanted to clear this up. I will not be taking all 11 classes in one day because that would be insane. So I'd like to just clarify that um, OSHA runs on a block schedule, which I have here on the planner. Wow, how handy. And um, so basically, on blue days, you take blocks one, two, and three. So on a blue day, I will have my geometry, lit and comp, and yoga classes. And then on gold days, I will take blocks four, five, and six, which are Spanish, health, and biology. After your academic classes, like whatever blocks you're taking that day, you have block seven, which is, I don't know how long it lasts, let's see. It lasts for 35 minutes, and it's basically like a study hall type deal. I know you can use it to do homework or study and stuff like that, which is great. And and then after that, you go to your conservatory classes, which are these lovely classes, the artsy classes for whatever conservatory you're in. And yeah, that goes from 2.15 to 4.50. So basically, you're at school from 8.05 to 4.50. Yay! But it's worth it. Um, I'm still a little iffy on the, like, my knowledge of everything, how it works at this school. So, um, I'm sorry if I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. Because honestly, I really, I'm not that solid on the information. But if you wish to learn more about this school, you can go to the website, which they have, like, they explain everything on the website. It's great. And they have, like, audition requirements for each conservatory which is fantastic, and I'll link that in the bottom bar, or I'll have like an annotation like right there. That'd be cool if I could do that, right? Like, here's an annotation. Woo! That's pretty much it for registration. Next up, I'm going to talk about school starting. My school starts in five days, which is really soon because I'm really used to starting school in like September, but not this year, I'm starting in August, which is okay. I'm excited to go to the school, so I don't really care. But yeah. Also, this weekend I'm going to Big Bear, so I don't know when my next vlog will be up with Big Bear and school coming up. Hopefully I will make a vlog, like, next weekend, and I'll talk about my classes, and that will be cool. Let's... All I have to say, and this is a really long video, 17 minutes of just me talking. Wow. Wow. I've never done that before. That's really cool. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed my vlog. Subscribe and all that stuff. But, oh, um, I would like to give a shout out to my dear friend Jonah, who gave me a shout out in one of his videos. So I just felt like it's right just to return the favor. So I don't have a lot of subscribers, but still, if you're interested, just go check out his channel. And then, you know, hopefully you'll like him because he's pretty great and you'll subscribe. So I'll do a link in the bottom bar and then maybe another annotation. But let's make it on this side. And, yeah, that's it. So, I will see you next time. And I hope you have a lovely, wonderful, magical day. And, yeah, bye!